Hey, beautiful souls, and welcome to our weekly Wednesday live chat. I know that I have missed a couple of Wednesdays, and it's actually one of the things I want to chat about with you guys today. So if you are watching on the live stream, today is Wednesday, February 8th, and I'm live at 10 a.m. Pacific, uh, which is 1 p.m. Eastern, and I think it's 6 p.m. UK. You guys will have to let me know. If you're commenting live in the live stream, hello, and make sure that you drop your name when you comment. I can't always see the names until I go look at the comments afterwards. So if you want me to say hi to you, just make sure you drop your name so I know who you are when you're leaving your comment. In today's chat, I want to talk about the power of perseverance, what we're understanding, what we're misunderstanding, and how this might be showing up for you in your life right now. Now, Often when we talk about uh, words that might be familiar, I like to give a definition so we're all on the same page with what we're talking about. Now I'm basing this definition on the Merriam-Webster dictionary and that definition of perseverance is continued effort to do or achieve something despite difficulties, failures, or opposition, the action or condition or an instance of persevering steadfastness. So I think most of us know this meaning to keep going, you, you know, despite adversity, despite what else might be going on in our lives. But where is this balance between persistence and the pressure we put on ourselves, right? Are we persisting and persevering because we believe in whatever it is that we're wanting to accomplish on the other side? Or is it because of pressures put on us from outside of ourselves, and perhaps we're persevering in areas where we don't really, are not passionate about the result we're going for or whatever it is we're pursuing? Because sometimes that can happen just based on, you know, society's expectations or culture's expectations or sometimes even family's expectations of us. Sometimes you might be persevering on a path that was something that a much younger version of you thought they wanted, but are you reevaluating to see if what you're persevering towards really matches up and is in alignment with what you're wanting today? Now, I found a cool quote about perseverance that I want to give you as well. This quote is by H. Jackson Brown, and the quote says, in the confrontation between the stream and the rock, the stream always wins, not through strength, but by perseverance. And so today I'm really inviting you to have a perspective shift about perseverance. Most of us, you know, we get up no matter what's going on in our lives, we have certain responsibilities, um, and based on our own personal history, we might address those in different ways, but we get up and there's this pressure to persevere, to push forward, no matter what, to keep trudging along, right? But can we shift our perspective and think of ourselves more like the water than the rock? Instead of approaching this perseverance with, you know, this steadfast stubbornness, can we have more of a flow? Can we, um, you know, just like water, sometimes there's a slow trickle and sometimes it's a rush of power. So can you, as you persevere, flex within this with your, within yourself? Perhaps sometimes there's a lot going on in your family, for example, that's really distracting you or drawing your attention, or maybe there's like an urgent need in your family that causes you to have to pay attention there while really you've been persevering in this other area. Does it mean that you no longer persevere in your dream, for example, like your dream career? No, it just means that you have to differently allocate that energy. So shifting to thinking of yourself as the water, the stream, right? And maybe for a time you need to flow towards that family situation in this example and give more of your power, more of your current, if you will, being the water there. And then there might be other times where that recedes, right, calms down or that situation shifts or you can carve out bits of time to really then refocus and persevere in the areas that you are passionate about. Something else to consider is in our culture, in our society, in present day, we are asked to persevere, to continue to push forward despite any um, adversity or challenges or anything we might need to overcome. We're asked to persevere in so many areas at one time, most of us, right? This very high achieving, you know, keep pushing through no matter what, um, 
energy or attitude is is demanded of us often. And it's okay if sometimes you don't have it. Hi, Paris. Good to see you. Um, So just thinking of yourself as water when you're thinking of getting up every morning and persevering, I want you to start thinking as we're talking about what are the goals in your life that you're persevering on, right? So remember, The definition of perseverance, continued effort to do or achieve something despite difficulties, failures, or opposition. So perhaps for you, it's building a business. Perhaps it's, um, you know, accumulating a savings for yourself for to buy a home or for security. Perhaps it's not financial at all. Perhaps it's a a health goal and you're perseverant about... um, You know, for me, one of the things I'm always working on is is trying to expand my lung capacity, for example. So it's that diligent, perseverant, repeated action towards that goal that matters. It doesn't mean that we have to be 100% of our effort in all these different areas all at once. It's unrealistic. It causes us to sometimes feel like we're dropping the ball because we can't have 100% effort across 15 different areas at all times. So think of yourself more like that flow of water, that stream. And if you're needing to have 10 areas of focus, well, then the trickle is going to be less. And if there are, there are areas where you can focus more, then you can direct more of your power, more of your energy, your attention, your inspiration, that perseverance and drive within you for that thing that you're passionate about. But it's okay that there is a bit of an ebb and a flow to that perseverance. It's how it has to be. It's just not something we really talk about. We think of, you know, uh, the, the way I grew up anyway, it's full steam ahead 100% of the time or you're not trying or you're being lazy or you're not going to succeed. Um, the time period and the place that I was raised in, the attitude was then, I mean, it's I'm growing up, it's been a while, the attitude then was second place is the first loser. And I carried that with me for so many years and I would put pressure on myself and no matter how well I did or, um, you know, what successes I gained, if it wasn't to the standard that I had in mind, if it was second place for me, I was very hard on myself and considered myself the first loser, for example. Um, I really used to say that to myself uh, all the time. And was it helpful in motivating me? Maybe. Did I continue to be persistent and persevere in those areas that I wanted to succeed in? I did. But at the same time, I was, you know, damaging my own mental health, damaging my own emotional stability, damaging my own heart and soul, really. So can you find ways to be supportive of yourself while you're doing you know, your own perseverance in whatever areas you need to persevere in, despite difficulties, challenges, perceived failures, right? So what areas are you committed to persevering in? For me, one of them is the Joy Soul Spa Facebook group. I'm committed to persevering in creating community with us. Um, That goes for the Spirit Speakeasy podcast as well. That's to create community. And it's not always easy. And sometimes I get down on myself. And I have to be honest, that's been a little bit of a challenge for me these last few weeks. It's why I've missed a couple of our Wednesday live chats. But I'm committed to persevering forward and being here with you guys Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Pacific, uh, 1 p.m. Eastern, and 6 p.m. UK, depending on time change. So... Where are the areas that you're going to persevere despite difficulty, despite challenge, despite perceived failures, or where you feel like you're still coming in second place or third place or 79th place even? Where can you find space for yourself to be like that water against the rock, right? And not persevere through sheer strength and force, but through Um, that determination, that consistency, right? That continuing to show up. And can you be a little kinder to yourself where you are doing it, right? Um, Hey, Timmy, good to see you. Uh, And the other person, I don't understand your question, um, but hello. (laughs) Uh, So really just considering in your own lives this week, you know, we are into February, like fully into February now. 
really just moving towards the springtime. And, you know, spring's about renewal, um, second chances, rebirth, reevaluation. So as we start to tip towards the spring, I'm like really wanting springtime, definitely springtime weather. Um, what areas are you committed to persevering in? And if you can even just give me one area that you want to persevere in that you're going to be a little kinder to yourself, as you do it. For me, it's these weekly lives. I'm committed to doing them. Um, I'm going to keep showing up and doing them for you guys. Uh, but just giving myself a little grace and being a little easier on myself. Sometimes because I've got the podcast now as well, I'm still sorting out what you guys want to hear about in these Wednesday chats. Um, Hello, Facebook user. If you're popping on and saying hi, just drop your name in the comments so I know who you are. Someone said personal development. I can't always see the names on these, um, particularly from Facebook. Um, hey, Michael, good to see you. Big hugs. Always great to see you. Uh, so yeah, what area are you going to persevere despite difficulties, challenges? You know, for me, I, I sometimes get this visual or this emotion feeling of like persevering feels like me saddling myself up to like a dog sled and pulling uphill both ways in the snow, kind of like a just persevere, grin and bear it, they used to say. Does it have to be like that? I don't think it does. Can we do a little experiment for the for like this these next couple months about perseverance? Does it have to be um, you know, that no pain, no gain attitude towards it? Or can it be I persevere like water? Can that be our mantra? And I'm going to give you that quote again before we close out. Uh, that quote was so beautiful by H. Jackson Brown. In the confrontation between the stream and the rock, the stream always wins, not through strength, but by perseverance. And can that be our mantra for ourselves as we persevere in whatever area it is for us, right? Because we're not expecting to be met with no challenges, with no difficulty, with no diversity, right? That wouldn't be helping our growth. But can you identify one area that you're committed to persevering this spring and commit right now to yourself, to me, to your soul, to spirit, that you're going to be kinder to yourself in doing it. And perhaps there's even a little bit of growth. Julie says, pers Julia says personal development. Hey, girl. Um, you know, especially with something like personal development or, uh, you know, your life path or your career goals, for example. Um, you know, can you just remind yourself, I persevere like water. I persevere like water. There's a flow. Sometimes when we've had a big rain, there's more power. We've got lots of waterfalls happening in Southern California right now. That That's what happens for us when it rains in, in our hiking areas. So thinking of it like, yes, if you've got this excess of energy and you can really put a lot of effort one week, but another week, like we were talking about, maybe things are going on in your life and you've just got a trickle of energy for this thing you're wanting to persevere on this spring. Fallon says, love that quote, yay water, yay water. Love you, girl. Good to see you, Fallon. Um, so yeah, that is my challenge that I'm extending to you guys this week. For me, like I said, the area that I'm, uh, there's several for me. <laughs> what I'm going to identify for you guys right now is these weekly 10 a.m. Wednesday Pacific uh, 1 Eastern live chats with you guys. I'm committed to doing them. I'm committed to showing up and being here with you guys, but I'm also, um, going to persevere with patience and with grace for myself because like I said my one of my fallbacks is to just be very very um, hard on myself and I'm learning to move forward with grace that's one of the things I'm working on just within myself this year and remember if that's something you want to work on grace in perseverance like be like the water right um you don't need anyone else to give it to you. It's just about you giving yourself that grace and how you're treating yourself and how you're showing up for yourself. And if you notice that this thing, this area you're wanting to persevere in where you're identifying it, if you notice every time you sit down to, like Julia was saying, do some personal development work, you have this total resistance within yourself. Like you don't want to, you're finding every excuse not to, you're organizing your... <laughs> cabinets to not do your journaling. There's something to investigate there too, right? Have some grace with yourself and investigate within yourself. Why am I resisting this? Is this because there's something heavy or meaningful for me to do here and I'm just resisting these tough emotions? Or is this something I don't actually want to do, right? Is this someone else's idea for me? Because we were talking at the beginning, if you remember, for those of you that are just tuning in, you might want to go back and listen to that piece. Um, you know, is it something that someone else said, I, you have to persevere in this way. This is what you need to do. This is your assignment, so to speak. Like, this is what's for you. Um, well, 
Just want to leave you with those thoughts. Uh, someone else chimed in. It's a trickle day, but getting ready to head out to class, noticing a struggle with fo with with focus with it. Good. I think that's a great place to start. And you're persevering. You're heading out to that class, but giving yourself some grace and and you know maybe it's admitting to yourself throughout the day. I'm having a trickle day today. I'm persevering. I'm showing up. I'm aware of what's happening. It's a trickle day, and that's okay too. So that is just a little challenge I want to extend to you guys. I'm going to be doing it too. Um, I will see you back here next Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific. Oh, a couple quick announcements. Um, we have got our free community healing. I decided to do it on Valentine's Day. So some of you I know will have other plans, but for those of you that don't, come and be my Valentine. <laughs> I'm going to post the links in the Joy Soul Spa Facebook community. So if you are in the Facebook group, you will see the posts there. It's totally free to join. If you're on my email VIP list, which it's free to get on, you can go to my website, joyfulmedium.com, get the free signs course. Um, just drop your name in that box and you'll be on my VIP email list. I'm going to send out the link. It's live on Zoom. So you log into the Zoom link. It's totally free. It's once a month. Um, we're, we're cracking back up for the new year and it's going to be on Valentine's Day, February 14th at 5 Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. I'm sorry, my UK loves. It's the middle of the night for you. Uh, this one. Um, but be excited for that because that is going to be an opportunity for you to get healing and support um, through Reiki and through the modern mystic healing tools that we do in my courses. Some of the other healers will be there. So it's totally free. Look for those posts next Tuesday, the 14th, Valentine's Day. Uh, and then I've also got um, some group mediumship readings coming up, some events coming up. We've got another free live workshop coming up uh, in April. So I'm planning lots of things for the new year. So with my trickle and flow, it, some of the times I haven't been here, I've been working on some other things for you guys that I'm really excited to share. Of course, Spirit Speakeasy podcast is up and running and has several episodes and has been going really well. I'm always working on new interviews for that. This week's uh, was with Lauren the Medium. She was a paranormal investigator and gives us all the tips and tricks about spirit photography and some unique, easy ways that anyone can do spirit communication. That's not my wheelhouse, so I had a lot of questions to ask her, as you can imagine. So check that one out. Um, next week will be an episode about finding love in honor of Valentine's Day but watch for the posts for the free monthly community healing. It's going to be Tuesday the 14th, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. If you are on my email list through my website, joyfulmedium.com, you will get the link directly to you. Uh, and I would love to give you some free healing. And like I said, the, the um, apprentice and master healers that I work with, some of them might be there too. So you will get lots of healing and love. Uh, and someone says, check out the podcast. You won't regret it. I, I agree with whoever that was. <laughs> Lots of love for you. Um, and Fallon says, I'm doing so much. Love your content. Thank you. Big hugs, Fallon. I'm, I'm trying my best to do it all. So where can we continue to be perseverant? Where can we give ourselves grace? And I am perseverant like water. That will be our mantra, at least for this week. Big hugs. Lots of love. I will still see comments if you're watching on the replay. Still say hi. Give your thoughts if you want to drop an area that you're persevering in. If you want to drop that affirmation or mantra to remind yourself, I'm perseverant like water. I'm going to give you that quote one more time and then we'll uh, head out for the day. In the confrontation between the stream and the rock, the stream always wins. Not through strength, but by perseverance. H. Jackson Brown. So again, where in your life can you identify an area that you want to persevere and can you give yourself some permission uh, to just say, I persevere like water, right? Let me know how this resonates with you guys. I will be with you guys Friday for the free live mini readings. Um, every Monday, the podcast drops. Tuesday, we've got our free community healing. And Wednesday, I'll be back here with another talk or perhaps even a channeled message. Big hugs. Lots of love. Hope you're well. Persevere like water today. Talk to you soon. Bye.